So today I want to go through a little more about how we languish in our language and why we can never get undone from our, the mess we're in because the words are basically uh, Phoenician, Latin, and Greek amalgamations with some British thrown in there. But it's all, a lot of our language is meant to deceive or have secret hidden meanings. So let, let's get into it. Now when you go into court, we're based on water. Our legal system is under Roman Latin law, and we're considered to be at sea. We're fictitious characters, we're straw men, uh, but it's all based on water. And this goes way back to uh, the 13 and 1400s when Pope Boniface VIII said he's going to be the vicar for Christ and created the first sesqv unum sanctum trusts and put us on ships. And that's why we always have in our Admiralty Court, we're on our citizenship, we're on our leadership, we're on our relationship, we're on our ownership, friendship, hardship, partnership, membership, internship, warship, sportsmanship, sponsorship, uh, relationship, craftsmanship, companionship. Why are we always on a ship? We go into court, we go in through the docket, and there we find the bailiff who's going to bail us out. So everything's based on water, including our banking system. This is why we have a currency and we have liquid assets and uh, we have uh, 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 um, deposit slips um, and we have a docket. Um, we have cash flow. We have frozen assets and liquid assets. So everything is based on water um, when we're in the court system. And we're just like I said, straw man and fictitious characters. Now, this is uh, Jordan Maxwell or I forget his other name. Uh, judges have a Masonic, Masonic hammer or gavel which they hit to declare the word of law. The idea of law comes from the biblical ten stone commandments and so it is said that you quote break the law. You're breaking the commandment. Judges always sit on three tier high platform representing the first three blue degrees of Freemasonry. The same tri tier platform is found at Congress and the altar in most Catholic and Protestant churches three tiers high. That's also why you get give someone the third degree related to third degree of masonry where the initiate is asked to a series of probing questions he must answer correctly in order to become a master mason, which is the third degree. Uh, there's usually a gate around the church altars, just there are gates and swinging doors in every courtroom um, called the docket. The congregation at church all stand up to recognize the priest just as all rise when the judge walks in. Judge takes a recess because he is in court playing a game of 10 NIS, Commandments, Ten Commandments, with lawyers who play the dialectic prot protagonist antagonist game, bouncing the advantage into each other's courts. In the courtroom, witnesses must place their hand on the Old New Testament before giving their testimony, just as priest sermon is often called testimony, also known as mon from moon in testimony and sermon. Also, to testify used to be you had to grab your testicles. In the old, and that's why women could not testify because they could not grab their testina, testima, te, testicles to uh, uh, to assert themselves in court. Also, the black robes are satanic uh, Satan robes, and the uh, uh, gavel is the phallic gavel of a penis that he's ruling with. As a witness swears in, one hand is placed on the Bible while the other is held up. In church, where parishioners feel the Holy Spirit offering during psalm, they will hold one or both hands up to praise the Lord. Quote. Then when you get further into Saturn, you begin to understand his color is black and he was God of one of the many different Semitic tribes or groups and one of his symbols was a square. Then you get into the square black mortarboard that the university or high school students wear when they graduate. When you graduate from high school, you come out of the processionally, processionally with a black robe, which is black for saffron, the God of Hebrews requiring that you wear the square mortarboard on the top of your head. As I said, this is Saturnian uh, in principle. The square mortarboards are, of course, used by the Freemasons for their plaster. So that is why you wear a square mortarboard when you graduate, ultimately becoming an alumni. It all has to do with Freemasonry. It all has to do with control of the education in this country. Freemasonry is owned by the Jesuits. He doesn't go into there. Uh, Jordan Maxwell doesn't go to Jesuit, or recently has. Uh, square mortarboard on the head is usually black, the color of Saturn, Saturn one of the ancient Hebrew gods. This is the same black used on the robe the judge wears when he is going to throw you in jail because black represents Saturn. Saturn is the old Semitic god. This is why churches and courtrooms look the same today because when you go into churches, you sit out here with the poor folks in the chairs out here in the pews, but you cannot go in onto the lifted higher elevation. You can't go inside the gate. You can't go inside the little doors. Only the priest can go inside there and officiate you. 
You stay on the outside with the poor folks. The altar is always raised at least three tiers because in Egypt that was the way it was always done. The altar was always raised so the people could see the representative of God dressed in black. The priest comes out of, on the altar dressed in black and he's officiating for you. He is the mediator between you and God. That is the same thing that happens in the courtroom. You walk in and you're a part of the poor folks sitting out there on your ship and here's the fence or gate that separates you. The attorneys, who are known as bar attorneys for British accredited registry, registered under the City of London, all U.S. bar attorneys, you must be a member of the bar to practice in the corporation of the courts, who are for-profit corp corporations in our legal system, and the attorneys are pledged to the British accredited registry, or bar, where the corporate papers are based in Puerto Rico. The attorneys go inside the gate and you are the mouthpiece to talk to God and see if you can get off. And the lawyers will be the mediator between God and the judge who judges you and man. That is where all this comes from in our society of today. Jordan Maxwell, Matrix of Power. All right, we can go into court. We have a hearing and present oral arguments to plead our case. The spoken word over the written word. That's why it's Phoenician or definition. Definition, get it? This is why we languish, old French languer, be listless, pine, grieve, fall ill. From vulgar Latin languere, from Latin linguere, to be faint or weak with our definition of language. Alpha, beta are the first two letters that make up our language. Once you start to understand the meaning of words, you will start to see this reality. There are four things to consider. One, definitions need to be understood. Two, etymology of words needs to be studied. It's the study of the origin of words. Phonics is utilized in everything. This is where the Phoenicians are attached to phonics. Example, there's three definitions that mean completely different things. There's a letter C, there's the ocean C, and then you can see with your eyes. Four word splitting, the practice of splicing words into various ways to find hidden elements contained within them. An example of the word splitting is language. Lang, gu, age. Land means monster that protects the noble ones. Gu, the god of war, and age, the age of the zodiac. So the final meaning of the word language is a monster of war that protects the noble ones or golden gods throughout the ages. Language, as we languish. A little sidebar fun. Why do we have noses that run and feet that smell? Why do we drive on a parkway yet park on a driveway? Why at a ball field, if it hits the foul pole, it's considered a fair ball and a home run? And why do we call it a freezer burn? Did you notice the term words is an anagram for the term sword? Switch the letter S in the term words to the front and you get the term sword. The letter S goes one way and then the other. So it also crosses over the other side equally and can go both ways like the S in snake, serpent, slither, sin. The letter M is shaped like a mountain. V for a valley. T as in top. B for breasts and D for dome, and C for crescent. Do you think this is by mistake? Do you think this just happens? No, this is all by design, folks. Words are like swords because they can be used to harm you. In a way, words are more powerful than swords for the reason that they can harm or heal you at the deepest levels of your being. In Greek, the term word means logos. The word logos is defined as, quote, the source that controls the universe, the written word or inspiration of God, or a logical and rational argument. In ancient Greek philosophy, the word logos is defined as, quote, the controlling principle in the universe. Belief includes the word lie in it, in the middle, to be lying, be lying with an F. Alien, I a lion. They're lying to you folks about the aliens. And then when you tell your vision, you tell your lie to your vision. Turn off your television and tell your vision, folks. And remember, when you say the word belief, you will be lying, you be lying with belief. Try not using the word belief. It's not easy to do. Question, what is the most important word of all time? The answer is no. Most people will spell it N-O, but the answer is K-N-O-W. Completely different meanings, but exactly sounding the same. It's meant to confuse by obfuscation. Matthew eleven fifteen. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Earth is art of the heart. Earth, move the H to the front and we get heart. Hear, hear. Nothing is true, everything is a lie, folks. They play games with us for a long time. All right, another word that has a strong connection to the term word is the term light. 
Light is sometimes referred to as a photon. In physics, a photon is usually indicated by the symbol Y, which is the lower case of the Greek symbol gamma. Some etymologists believe that the Greek word gamma is where the word grammar originated from. In English, grammar means, quote, the study of classes of words, their inflections and their functions and relations in sentence, end quote. Spells are cast in schools and spelling, and the bell rings at each class to disassociate from the last lesson. This comes from Pavlov's dog theory, where they rang the bell and the dog would salivate. So they instituted the bell system into public schools and most schools so that the children, when the bell would ring, would forget what they just learned. You must remember the people in power do not want you to take their power. So they'll give you a little way up, and then they'll set up progressive taxes, but they'll never get to the top. You'll never take their power away because they're controlling everything. The ringing bell was taken directly from Avla, Avla, Ivan Pavlov's behavioral science theory. Uh, okay, origins of our deceptive and deceiving language. Language is used to interact with one another. It's paramount importance in understanding law. We speak Phoenician each day without even knowing it. It's the language of sound. Before they had the written word, it was an oral history, oral language. Pick up the phone, phonics. Fun, sounds, science of sound from the Greek phone sound from pi root ba to speak, to tell, to say. What is definition? It's a statement of the meaning of the term or the word. Or is it something else? Is it definish, Phoenician that the Phoenicians and the Cainites have defined the way we speak still to this day, thousands of years later? So you go to the elections and you make your selections, but they're really gross misdirections. When people vote, where do they do so? In a voting terminal or polling station. People are voting, not voting, because they are going to the polls, which the electric battery polls of positive and negative to place their votes on the candidate that they want to see out in charge. The politician that receives the most votes is that one that is going to be put in the position of power. It's, called power, it's not called power politics for, any, for nothing. It's also why we got credit charge cards. We're using electric. The Electrical College of Electors are the ones that actually determine who will be president, not any popular poll, poll, media, or statistic. Registering to vote is an admission that the declarant is subject to the exclusive legislative power of the corporate Congress and is a 14th Amendment citizen, a second class citizen when you register. Regis means crown, stir means to enroll. So you're enrolling in the crown, Regis, crown. By voting, you are contracting as a straw man, a fictitious character in the eyes of a law, a human resource, not a human just being. That's why they call us the Department of Human Resources, just like water resources. All right, a sidebar. Did you know the Jesuits invented the Fahrenheit thermometer? That's why when it unfreezes, it's at 33 degrees. Get it? All right, now we went through the banking stuff already with the liquid frozen liquid assets. Common law is also known as maritime law. Mar means sea law. This was in the 14th, 15th century. Like I said, the testamentary Sesquivy Trust placed all lost souls at sea. So when we go into court, we sail in our citizenship to argue about loss and damages, our contractual relationships, partnerships, and ownerships. It's all about monetary loss and injury compensation. Who did what to whom? When we enter the court to play ball, we'll see who win in the docket. This is where the ship's berth. The rules come down from the three blue masons degrees with phallic gavel to determine who is liable. Okay, resident. Res means property or thing. To identify is ident. Identify the property or thing. You put a P in the front and capitalize it and mince principal. So the president of the corporation of the United States of America, capital letters, Washington, D.C., is the corporate CEO, the president. He's ruling over the property or the thing. That'd be us, folks. Um, also, when you're born, you slide down your mother's birth canal and you land on your birth certificate where the hospital's paid to register and so that banker, banksters can account for you into securitized debt from the bankruptcy the United States never got out of since 1933. This is why the more debt they run up, the more we owe, and we never got out of bankruptcy since 1933, and our birth certificates are securitized, tradable commodities. All right, a government, govern, means to rule or control. Ment is for mensa or mind, to control the mind. They tell us what they're doing. 
straw man as a front. A third party is put up in name only to take part in the transaction. Term is 